Thank you for joining us for today's press conference with the leader of the Green Party of Canada, Annie Paul. So you all pick the muddy spot. Yeah. <laughs> um, thank you very much for being here. Merci d'être ici avec nous aujourd'hui. Um, je suis ici sur le territoire traditionnel des Mississauga, Anishinaabe, Haudenosaunee, et Huron Wendat. I'm here on the traditional territories of the Mississauga of the Credit, the Anishinaabe, the Haudenosaunee, and the Huron Wendat. Um, wonderful to see uh, some greens here uh, today as well, and uh, thank you to my husband and my son for coming as well. Uh, alors, d'abord en français, uh, je voulais uh, dire que um, uh, après les derniers uh, quelques jours, um, Surtout après avoir reçu uh, la journée de l'élection, uh, le matin de l'élection et uh, y, um, le dimanche matin, uh, une email uh, qui, uh, annon uh, qui annonçait le déclenchement d'une um, uh, leadership review uh, directement, um, j'ai considéré est-ce que j'avais la force uh, de, de continuer uh, dans ce rôle, est-ce que j'avais la force de, de de continuer de, non, de survivre uh, les, les, les attaques, <laughs> le conflit. Um, Est-ce qu'il y aurait la place pour une contribution um, pour moi? Uh, et au final, um, la décision a uh, été que non, en fait, il, il n'avait pas. Um, alors, uh, uh, j'ai décidé uh, que non, je, vais mettre, um, je vais me mettre en contact avec uh, le Conseil fédéral uh, pour uh, uh, commencer le processus Uh, de um, ma, ma démission uh, et um, de, de, de peut-être trouver un um, une chef uh, avant le la lancement d'une um, course à la chefferie. Uh, so, I, uh, over the, you know, we had a long election, not a long election, but we just finished the election uh, and the, the day of the election uh, and the day, the couple of days after the election, you know, there were just a couple of things that happened uh, that really caused me to, to think about what I wanted next. Um, on the day of the election itself in the morning, uh, the only email that I received uh, from our council, from the president of our council, uh, was an email calling for an emergency meeting uh, to uh, launch a leadership review. And then on uh, Saturday night, only a few days after the election, there was a, an announcement sent to all of the members, including myself, uh, that an, a leadership review had been launched. And when I received those two things, at the time that I received them, I just asked myself whether this is um, something that I wanted to continue, whether I was willing to continue to put up with uh, the attacks I knew would be coming, um, whether to continue to have to fight and struggle uh, just to fulfill my democratically elected role as leader of this party and I just, I just don't have the, the heart for it. Uh, the election was very difficult for those who have been following. They will know that, um, you know, and it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that when you head into an election without funding for your campaign, uh, when you head into an election uh, without the staff uh, to staff your campaign, when you head into an election without a national campaign manager, um, when you head into an election uh, being, again, under the threat of a court process from your party, uh, it's going to be very hard to convince people to, to vote for your party. Uh, and so there are those who will ask, why did I choose to go ahead in any case? And I can tell you that it was a tremendous struggle uh, to decide to continue. I knew uh, that we were likely not going to do well, and I knew that as the leader, even without those tools that I needed, uh, the first person that the public would look at would be me. Uh, but I chose to continue because of some of the people that are, are standing here today. Uh, the extraordinary members of the Green Party uh, who didn't do anything to deserve this and deserve to have the opportunity for a good election. Uh, the candidates, uh, the, um, <clears throat> the candidates and the volunteers again, uh, who deserve to have a leader going into the election and deserve to at least have an opportunity 
uh, to be represented. Uh, many of those candidates were candidates that I had recruited through the Time to Run program. Uh, it was the most diverse slate of candidates that we had, even though it wasn't a full slate. And so I felt that responsibility. I also felt a responsibility, you know, to show that someone like me could get as far as, as, as I could and that I could draw on wells of strength, uh, much of it coming from, again, the people who are here today and others uh, to at least get across that finish line. Because when I talked in the debate about that um, crawling over that glass, uh, what people need to, to realize is that uh, when I was elected uh, and put in this role, I was um, breaking a glass ceiling. Um, what I didn't realize at the time is that I was breaking a glass ceiling that was gonna fall on my head and leave a lot of shards of glass that I was gonna to have to crawl over um, you know, throughout my time as a leader. And when I arrived at that debate stage, I had crawled over that glass, I was spitting up blood, but I was determined to be there. I was determined to be there so that the next time someone like me thinks of running and wonders whether it's possible to be on that stage, uh, they will know that it is possible uh, to do that. And so those are the reasons that I continued. Uh, those are the reasons that I don't have any regrets about having gone through uh, the election. Uh, but I do have to recognize uh, that it is quite clear to me that I am not going to have the opportunity to lead. I have not been given that opportunity and I will not be given that opportunity. Uh, I just will not spend any more time uh, focused on political games as opposed to uh, public policy, which is what I entered politics for in the first place, particularly at a time when uh, it is so needed. We have a climate crisis that we have got to address collectively. Uh, we have people who are counting on, uh, on us to uh, ensure that uh, we have more progressive policies that leave them better protected and none of those things that can be accomplished uh, if the focus is solely on these kind of internal uh, political issues. And so I will definitely find uh, other ways uh, to serve. Uh, this was always about service and I have been outside of politics for most of my life and so I know that there are other ways to serve. Uh, and for all of those people who are disappointed, for all of the supporters who wrote and asked me to please continue, uh, please know that this was not easy. It has been extremely painful. Uh, it has been the worst period in my life uh, in many respects, uh, but I am not alone and you are not alone. Uh, we need to see the quest towards equity and justice uh, as, a, as a, um, a relay race as opposed to a one person race. And so someone like me, we take the baton and we take it as far as we can uh, and when our strength fails us, what we are counting on is that there is someone else who can take that baton from us and move us a little bit further down the line so that we can ultimately cross that finish line. And I promise you that we will cross that finish line. Alors, uh, à tous les supporters, à toutes les personnes qui uh, m'ont encouragé de continuer, je dis que je vais continuer à servir. Um, C'était toujours uh, le service pour moi. C'était toujours uh, de participer dans la création des politiques um, progressistes. Uh, C'était toujours à uh, participer dans la lutte contre la crise climatique. Um, C'était toujours uh, d'essayer de, de créer une culture uh, plus diverse, plus inclusive dans notre um, culture uh, politique. Um, et je vais continuer à participer dans, dans tous ces efforts. Uh, mais um, je dis que ça suffit et je n'ai pas le force de continuer de me subir à, à les attaques, les attaques uh, dans notre parti, les attaques uh, de, par, par, de nos conseillers, des anci anciens chefs uh, de notre um, parti aussi uh, sur notre conseil. Um, ce n'est pas la raison que j'ai décidé d'entrer dans la vie politique et um, je, je, c'est le moment d'aller uh, dans une autre direction. Um, and so, um, for those Green Party members, and there are many, uh, because I have met some of the very best people in my life through the Green Party, uh, I want to say that uh, there is a struggle uh, that is going on for the soul of the party. Uh, for those of you that want to see the Green Party fulfill its, its promise and its values, uh, then there is work to do. And uh, for those Green Party members who have taken great pleasure 
in attacking me, in calling for assaults against me, uh, in calling for organization against me, in suggesting that I'm part of a, a conspiracy um, against the party. Uh, you may take small comfort in this for a moment, but please know that there are many more people like me than there are you, and you will not succeed uh, in the end. You will not succeed in the end. Um, and I will look to those other people to take up uh, the baton and to move the party in the direction that I still believe uh, that it can, can go in. Um, I want to thank my husband very much and uh, my son very much and my family very, very much for, for sticking with me through this. It has been hard on all of us uh, for a very long time. Um, and no one can do this alone. And uh, I want to send all my love to all the people who are standing behind the, the cameras and those in other parts of the country uh, who have, have made it possible for me to last uh, as long as I, as I have. Uh, I think that that's it. There certainly will be more in the days to come, but uh, I wanted to provide this clarity, particularly in light of the, the leadership review that was called uh, for yesterday. Um, so that uh, we can begin to move toward the next stage and certainly so that I can also begin to move towards the next uh, stage. Uh, merci beaucoup, thank you very much. A little bit, by a little. It's my mother-in-law. Oh. Uh, Mark, can I look at my mask, please? You're an amazing leader. Thank you. Thank you.